Okay, right now I'm going to be showing you guys some defensive tips for when you start out and such. Which one of the most important things, of course, is uh, spikes. Which spikes never used to be really that strong, or they could be strong, but, you know, they break after, you know, one or two hits. However, now they're good for just basic defenses too. Such as, you know, putting, walking backwards and putting spikes in front of zombies. That's actually a really good way to eliminate them. Yeah, <laughs> quite a bit of zombies. I've done that quite a few times. Oh, and I this thing. The snow biome is my personal favorite for these kind of fences just because you can dig trenches so friggin' easy. And that's pretty much one of the most important things. That's why I prefer the snow biome. And then also, because these rocks are plentiful, and you can get uh, iron scrap out of them, and these are rocks. If you're able to get a claw hammer too, that's totally kind of a I mean, look how much wood I'm getting. It's crazy. So make a shovel. I guess in this case, I'll just make a stone shovel. I guess in your case, if you're starting out, you would probably just be doing the stone, which is, you know, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's, if you level, you know, your skills it up, up and everything, your stone shovels can be, you know, badass anyway. But one, another reason why I like snow is because, you know, shovels, it's like, when you get high enough, it's like one hit on the snow. And it's super easy to make trenches. Another tip on that that I always use is, uh... Uh, heck's hit me. There's nothing in me. Yes, a random ass okay. I can see I'm already pretty far in the game. Also, there's mods in the server, so. A lot of stuff you can stack higher. Anyway! do is get some wood frames. Downside though, these two downsides to me about the snow biome is one, hyperthermia, which fucking sucks. I'm sorry. Sucks. So it's better if like you you know you, you were coming from the city or something and you had a bunch of like you know clothes. Like for example you know, like a puffer coat or a leather duster. You know, green skull cap. Also pay attention to the insulation. This is plus, not minus. Like, you wear a lot of armors and stuff, they'll often say, oh, minus. They'll actually do worse for you. See, I have my temp's not going down so fast. Okay, this will work. Oh, shovel's done. But I'm just used showing how to use with the iron shovel just because it would be make this quicker. Now this is, you know, like what I'm doing is basically for, if you're just starting out and you, you just need a quick little base, which actually I can show my other base I started with and built up. But to me, I always build at least three high. At least. That way, if zombies break through the second block, because usually they always hit the second block. And then if they're um, disabled, they'll go for the first block. But if you have that third block, it's still going to block them all. Unless, so basically, they have to do the second block. And see, I gotta make this one. Basically, you'd have this up three high. One of the important things to me is don't have a door. At least, like, you know, you, just, you can have, like, just, you know, a wood frame door thing, because zombies are heavily attracted to doors, they go straight for the doors, which I learned that the hard way, so if you're just starting out, you know, don't, you know, don't have a door, what I would do, which, if I can get some freaking blocks, I can show you, is build like, how far, 
two blocks out. What I did was, I built up the space up three blocks high, or actually I guess in this case probably four blocks high. You reinforce the bottom two, you know, you keep upgrading as, as best you can. And then you make a roof, and then you make a little thing on top of it, so, you know, for a door. And you pretty much you run and jump. And that way too, because the zombies will go up that same thing. However, you put spikes down here, and what do they do? They just fall down, especially at night time when they run. They'll fall straight down, right into your uh, spikes. And when you get this high enough, this is why I like snow. Which, granted, I'm using an iron shovel right now. But, I mean, you could do the same thing when you level up your uh, snow shovel. Which, in the beginning, you know, it's not going to be that quick. That's one reason why I make uh, pipe bombs, which is in the vanilla game. One of my favorite things I use, especially in snow biomes. See, all it takes is a short iron pipe, gunpowder, plant fibers. You know, it's actually pretty easy to make. In the snow biome, though, gunpowder would be a little bit harder unless you run into a little nitrate thing. But it's almost better if you uh, start in like a, a forest biome or find a forest biome. And collect a lot of clay, you know. And if you if you're able to find like a you know some caves, that's even better. Lots of nitrate, and then you know you get your hands on some coal. Another thing that's pretty early early on is uh, cobblestone blocks, which have a thousand health, and all you need is just clay and stone. Which, granted, in certain biomes and areas, you know, neither of those are really an issue. <laughs> now, the space, though, you know, it's still, it's not going to be, you know, the best. It's one of those things that, you know, you just kind of have to build up over time and get better and better. Especially if you're, you know, you get it lucky on getting your resources out. Which, if you want to make it quick, as soon as you start, you start in a snow biome, run, you know, start, start punching the grass, you know, start collecting grass and stuff. Uh, pick up some rocks, hit some trees, get some, get a stone axe. Stone axe, very quickly, get as much wood as you can. And then also a bunch of, you know, rock and that kind of stuff. But for one, then you can get a bow. And that's a plus side of having a base like this too, is if you have a bow, you can sit there and just pick them off. But again, you'd also need like, feathers for that too. Ooh, it didn't collapse it. Sometimes you might get lucky, you might get a crap ton of feathers, or you might get unlucky. Oh, crap, I used up all my wood making this. I'm really just going to really give that good insulation. You kind of want this basic clothes. There seems to be more zombie activity out in the snow. I mean, all you'll really find is pretty much just the lumberjacks, but then they themselves are pretty tough. Oh, they will sneak up on you. They can be annoying, but also they can be quite plentiful in resources. Now I'm tracking them. Nah. And oh shit, am 
ammo through that. Yeah, the loot abundance is high in my server, so. Okay, anyway, so, uh, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Now this can take a bit, and it could be a, tr a struggle at first. You know, it's going to happen no matter where you really go. I mean, if you're able to dig trenches, that is great. Especially if you force, if you get it deep enough, and you have to force them to basically go through it, and they die. Before they even get to your base. And then if you have any, you know, weak spots, you can just make, you know, a basic wall blocking them, making it so they have to go through it. But personally, I like having these up so that that way you have a way in and you can just run and jump. See, just like that. And then you can get inside your base, that kind of thing. You know, have a campfire on the inside so you can warm up. In a forest biome, defending would be easier just because you're, you have access to cloth, you know, probably, you know, caves and everything. And just overall, you know, better, you don't have to worry about hypothermia. Boy, if you're able to, you know, thrive in a snow biome, like I eventually did, but, you know, again, I kind of suffered a lot of hypothermia. I actually ended up dying a lot. It really all depends. It's probably better if you go into a snow biome instead of like starting out in the snow biome. See, just like that. Hey, you, you pretty much just do this all the way around. And then you want to upgrade these, like I said, the best, you know, best you can. And eventually, like, you know, actually replace the blocks. You know, it's going to be hard because, you know, your game might have shorter days. Mine right now was at 60 minutes. It was 30 minutes, so it was pretty crazy. And actually, just for example, I'll show you my snow days. Yes, I am in admin mode, so I can teleport around. This base took, actually, you know, quite a long time. I probably spent... 40 days on this base, which actually, which, you know, it, it's only been 48 days, but the server did crash, and it was like at 59, so we went back 10 days. I have a whole other base now. You see what I mean, though? Which they, they kept digging in there, that's why that's blocked up, but, see, a little nice little trench of spikes, and a wall I had for blocking them off, and see how it kind of overlaps, and nice deep pit. Now, if you have pipe bombs, I'll see this another good example too. Lots and lots and lots of spikes. In but if you get pipe bombs, pretty much what you do is you dig a little hole, and then you throw the pipe bomb in there. You know, walk away, and it'll create a nice deep trench, like you know, like that. You make a hole this size around that, and then you dig a little bit past it, do it again, a little bit past it, do it again. And then all of a sudden you have trenches like this. And you don't sit there and dig and dig and dig and dig. And pipe bombs, there's no recipe required or anything. It's a lot easier if, you, um, if you're if you able to have a forge. So then you can just make the pipes. Because probably two issues I always ran into was getting pipes. And then uh, getting grass. Because you run out of grass quick. Which I'm not in my making. But the other issue about being a snow biome is, of course, you have to go in different biomes to get materials, generally. Unless you get lucky, like I did in one game, where I had a whole bunch of coal and clay and everything in one spot when I dug pretty deep. But to me, this is like the best way to defend your base. Spikes. Lots and lots of spikes. All around your base. And then some walls, and then some more spikes. And then, you know, more spikes and spikes and spikes. If you're, the, if you're able to make concrete, I mean, that's, that shit's awesome. You should upgrade this eventually to concrete. You can make rebar bars. You got mines too. And then upgrade. I mean, it's concrete's the shit. Look at that, 3,000. 
as you see, most of my bottom is still just base floor. I never do upgrade it. But they have a harder time actually getting my base now. Plus, you know, having guns, I can just kill them now. Whoa! Shit! <coughs> see? Almost come back. Anyway, I think my tips are done for this video. Have fun!